Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl from Nigeria, Lara Savage, and I am super duper excited to bring you guys this tutorial on how to style the LSC Elevated Scarf Set. You can style it as different dresses, bags, tops, just name it and today we're going to be focusing on the dresses. You can order for yours on Instagram at Lara Savage Creations. It's a four-in-one set that comes with two scarves that have fringe tails, I'll explain that later, one chain strap and one leather strap that can help you do just about anything. Let's get started already. I can't wait to teach you guys how to style these elevated scarves in different ways. First up, we have the one shoulder dress with a peplum overlay. Tie the fringe tails in the double knot and throw it over your shoulders so you have a monostrap kind of look. Then grab any belt, but this time we're using the Toyo Basket Peplum as our belt. So you just tie it to your waist and adjust as needed. That's just basically what you need to do. Then I made a bag with the other scarf so you guys can see that you can really make anything with this scarf. I'm going to put a tutorial out soon for the bags, the tops, and I'm sure you guys are going to love it as well. Okay, here's the one shoulder dress, but this time we're using a normal belt. So simply follow the process of the first one, tie it in a double knot, throw it over your head. We're broken, it's tragic, we're not all this time, grab a normal belt. There you have it. I styled it with a black lace foldover clutch to just elevate the style, and it's so, so cute. Right now we have the V-neck draped dress, so we're using both scarves this time. Tie the fringe tails together on both separately, then throw it over each shoulder and grab a belt. Adjust it however you like, how short, drapey you want it to be, it's up to you. Yeah, adjust the back well, don't be like me. I styled it with the gold sequin foldover clutch this time, it's in the collection. You guys can check it out on my Instagram, I'll link the link below. Let's move on. Next up, we have the crisscross draped dress. Tie the fringe tails, but this time throw it over the opposite shoulder. We're broken, it's tragic. We're not all elastic, but maybe there's magic. Some people love it free like this, but you can also grab a belt and adjust it as you like. I styled it with this color changing Ashoki fold work clutch, also in the collection. One word, beautiful. So here's one I really love. It's the longer version of number one. Tie the fringe tails and throw it over your head, but instead of belting it, we're going to use our second scarf to tie it on our waist. So you're going to tie it in a sarong style to the front, to the side, anywhere, and that's just it. Adjust it as you like, and you're good to go. So 
here it is up close as well i literally had to stand on the side table just to show you guys what the full look looks like i have styled it with the black fold over clutch because it's simply amazing losing time i'm fading fast i just want to make it last try to let go of the past i close my eyes and brace the blood next up we have the high low draped dress this time you're going to tie the fringe tails of one scarf to the other scarf do it for both sides and throw it over your shoulders like this grab a belt and adjust it as you like you can do anything with this one it's tragic we're not all elastic but maybe there's magic believe you could you can make the sides open but make sure you wear an undergarment that you want people to actually see or instead just cover it up with your belt and get going no one would believe it's not even sewn together like the fringe tails dropping and everything it's super chic super amazing Here's the sexy square neck dress. So similar to the high low dress, simply tuck the drapery front into your undergarment, twist the fringe tails into the sleeve area, making it drop in front just like this. There it is. I've started with the Ankara fold over clutch in a waist pouch style to just show you guys that it can be really, really casual with this you no know, style. Beautiful. So this is another long one, the draped tie back dress. Grab a scarf and tie the fringe tails around your neck to the back in a somewhat loose manner. Then grab the second scarf and tie it to your waist in a sarong style like we've done before. Now, if you want it to be less drapey, you can easily tighten the ties at the back of your neck and make it, you know, high up on your neck and you're good to go. You look really, really beautiful, comfortable, chic. And I forgot to show you guys the back, but it's going to be open, but the fringe tails are going to drop and give you that statement making piece that you really, really love. There's something that'll give you relief. There's something that'll have what you need. For our long strapless dress, you need the two scarves. All you have to do is grab one scarf and tie it to the side, to the back, anywhere you want it to be. I love tucking mine into my undergarment as well, so that it would just, you know, make it pop a little bit. Then grab the second scarf and tie it in a sarong style again on your waist, to the left, to the right, to the center, anywhere you want it to be. And there you have it. And finally, we have the strapless dress without the second scarf. This time I'm styling it again with the Toyo Basket Peplum. So I've tied the scarf with a normal belt on my waist, but this time I put the toy basket peplum on my chest. Can't get over it, guys. I grabbed the basket fold over a clutch and I used it to just mix and match the basket peplum on my chest already and it was giving me life, like it was fire. 
so that's all i have for you guys in this tutorial do let me know your favorite styles in the comment section or what you want me to you know use the scarves to do or how to style anything you want and i will see to it oh before i forget i'm also going to be dropping videos on how to use the scarf to make bags tops and other different things not also forgetting my how-to videos on how to start your business marketing tips all those things that can help you grow your brand grow your business i'm also going to be talking about that so you need to subscribe and hit the bell button so you can get notified whenever i post these videos also comment, send me a DM on Instagram at Lara Savage Creations. I always respond to every DM that is sent to me so we can connect and, you know, rub minds together, basically. If you try out these styles, tag me on social media. I'm ready to celebrate with you and, you know, share this video within and outside your circle so other people can learn. It's still your favorite girl from Nigeria, Lara Savage, signing out.